Welcome back. Time to talk about phenylephrine or the brand name Neosinephrine or Neo. Um, phenylephrine works mainly here on the vessels here causing narrowing of the diameter and vasoconstrictions which increase systemic vascular resistance then and increase blood pressure from that. A minimal if anything effect on the pump and remember it's not going to work if you don't have the source of water so make sure you give adequate fluid resuscitation this can cause reflex bradycardia if any effect on the heart now neosinephrine or phenylephrine should not come to your mind first and it should not be used unless you used other agents and still not adequately bring the blood pressure up and you need to add something else so the main use in real clinical practice for this is for anesthesia induced hypotension which is mainly from vasodilation that's why you see anesthesiologists carrying in their pocket these pushes of neosinephrine so they keep pushing these to bring the blood pressure up and what happened they come to our icu let's say post up and the blood pressure is good give them five ten minutes and the blood pressure start dropping and because of these so this is the main use in clinical practice other than that i only use it or we only use it if let's say some somebody with septic shock he's you used levo norepinephrine vaso epinephrine still hypotensive then you can add as a salvage therapy add neo Neosinephrine or phenylephrine to help. Or let's say somebody using Levo uh, Epi and they're having really bad, serious, uh, some serious tachyarrhythmias. So you want to come down on the doses of those or get rid of them, you can use neosinephrine. The bottom line neosinephrine, we should not use it much. I don't remember when was the last time I used it. It's only a salvage therapy when everything you putting is still patient hypotensive, you can add it there. Or if there are serious tachyarrhythmias and you cannot use norepinephrine, dopamine, or epinephrine anymore, you can use it. But in clinical practice, as I said, the main use, and it's mainly by anesthesiologists by us, is in anesthesia induced hypotension. So it should not come to your mind first, it should come to your mind last. And as, as I said, like all, all, um, all of them, uh, all vasopressor, you have to give adequate fluid resuscitation. You have to give it through central line. And if there is extra vasation, you can discontinue that, of course, and add fentolamine. Give it subcutaneously and avoid over or severe vasoconstriction by using the minimum dose to maintain MAP above 65 dosing again you don't have to remember it you can uh, just look it up but usually this depends on the area sometimes 50 to 150 mics per minute but i've seen 20 and 30 doses i've seen 200 as well so again this may change i think that's all that we need to know about neosinephrine again should be the least one to use really in ICU. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to our channel and activate the notification bell so you get to see the videos as soon as they are released. Glad to have you on board.